Hey, everybody. Hi, this is Ben Ong from Idiot Tuition. Yes. So what is happening? Yes, as you can see from the screen, we'll be discussing about our dear Helen and Ivan. Yes, you have seen this question in your 2021 PSLE math paper. Mm. So let's go ahead and take a look at this question together with me. All right, let's go. I changed the question a little bit, all right, to avoid uh, copyright issues and all this. <laughs> so instead of Helen and Ivan, we have Ellen and Ivy can, all right, one boy, one girl, same, same. They have the same number of coins, all right. So what is important here is this is actually fixed. They have the same number of coins. So if I draw a simple model between Ellen and Ivy, and they having the same number of coins, the model will be something like that. Can you see? This is called same number of coins. Can? So for example, for example, for example, if Alan got this coin here, all right, Ivy will have also one coin here. If Alan has another coin here, Ivy will have another coin here. Can you see? Right, so the number of coins is the same. That's the meaning of the first line here. All right, Alan and Ivy having the same number of coins. Then you can say that, yes, maybe Alan got this 20 cent coin and maybe Ivan got this 50 cent coin. All right, but the number is still the same. So according to my this model, Alan got three coins here and Ivy has three coins here. All right, so the number of coins is supposed to fill up all the way to here. Do you understand? All right, so it's very important for you to understand the meaning of they have the same number of coins. Oh, here comes the first clue. Alan had a number of 50 cent coin. How many? We don't know. So don't care about things that you don't know. Let's go ahead and focus on the things that we know. We know that Alan has 64 pieces of 20 cent coin. Good for you, Alan. Continue to read. These coins have a mass of 1.134 kg. All right. This is for what? This is only for Alan's coin. This is only for Alan's coin. All right. The mass of Alan's coin. All right. And we continue to say, Ivy have a number of 50 cent coin. How many? Again, things that we don't know is, okay, let's leave it first. Let's go and focus on things that we know. Ivy had 104 20 cent coin. Yes, yes. So there's 20 cent coin and there's 20 cent coin. That is something we know. Let's focus on it. Is that okay? And the first question is how, who has more coins, all right? Or who has more money in this case and by how much, right? By how much, right? This one, you have to find something called the difference, all right? So if you got more than me, you got more than me by how much. And the second part is about the weight, all right? Given that each 50 cent coin is 2.7 gram, heavier than a 20 cent coin. Uh, you know that in Singapore, the 50 cent coin is heavier Okay, because it is bigger, slightly bigger than the 20 cent coin. So in a way, yes, it is 2.7 grams heavier. Okay, more or less. What is the mass of Ivy's coins in kg? So as you can see, this particular question here, all right, is talking about mass. It will link to this number eventually. So this 1.134 kg is actually for the what? It's actually for part B. Is that okay? So let's go and take a look at part A now, shall we? Okay, who has more money? Ah, so let me draw my model properly first. All right. As I say, the main important thing here is that they have the same number of coins, right? So this is what Alan and Ivy have. They have the same number of coins. This is what? This is fixed. You cannot change that. You cannot change that. All right. And we know something. We know that Alan has what? We know that Alan has 64 20 cent coins. Just now I did say, right? We focus on things that we know. So, Alan got 64. Oh, cheer. are you going to draw 64 20 cent coin? Oh, no, of course not. All right. So, now in this case, can we just take the yellow circles? Down here, there's a lot of it. Lah. All right. There's 64 20 cent coin down here. Is that okay? All right. So, let me draw a line here. And from here to here, how many 20 cent coin do we have? We have 64. Pieces of coin. Is that okay? 64 pieces of 20 cent coin. Okay. And what do we know about Ivy? Yeah. Ivy got more 20 cent coin. Remember? Ivy got how many more? A lot more. I know. 
<laughs> in total, IV got 104 20 cent coin. So again, as I say, we focus on the part we have the uh, where, where we have the information, which is the 104 20 cent coin. So 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 can I say that this portion is also a 20 cent coin? Yes. This portion is also a 20 cent coin. Yes, yellow is 20 cent coin for now. All right. And da -da 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 -da. all right, down here we'll have what? 64 pieces of 20 cent coin too. Is that true? Yeah. But 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 Ivy got how many in total? How many 20 cent coin in total? 104, right? So where is the remaining? Where's the remaining what? Where is the remaining 40 20 cent coin? So I will have it here. All right. So another and another one. And down here, all right, we will have how many? Down here in total, we will have a total of how many? 40. 40 pieces of coin. Is that okay? Ah, okay. For IV, remember, we have a total of what? 104. 64 plus 40. Is it 104 what? 20 cent coin. Isn't this 20 cent? All right. Yellow, I call it 20 cent. Is that true? So that are things that we know. We know about Allen. We know about Ivy. All right. So we put in things that we know first. Then after that, here comes the remaining part. The rest are what? The rest are like 50 cent coin, right? So we have Allen, uh, this portion as 50 cent, 50 cent, and 50 cent. Can you see? Oh, why is that so? Because remember my previous model? All right. Remember my previous model? All right. If down here have one coin, IV must have one coin. If Alan must have one coin, IV must have one coin also. All right. One for you and one for me. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you remember this song? Anyone remember? All right. Remember there's this call Shake Shake the Mango Tree. Shake Shake the Mango Tree. Mango Yellow Mango Drink. One for you and one for me. Okay. Never mind. Different generation. <laughs> All right, so remember that inside the bar, right, inside the blue bar, remember, if there's one here, there must be one here. If there's one here, there must be one here. Understood or not? Okay? So, we know that IV has 104 pieces of 20 cent coin. It's represented by the yellow color coins. We know that Allen has 64 pieces only. It's recorded down here. All right? And the rest, right, the rest are what? 50 cent coins. So the rest are 50 cent coins to appear here. All right, there's a lot of 50 cent coin. I bet so. All right, it's just that we do not know how many pieces there are. All right, but is it important? Is it important to know how many pieces there are? Actually, not true. Not true. All right, because what is the question asking? The question is not asking about total amount of money that they have. All right, nothing to do with total. It's talking about how or who has more money and by how much. Remember how much? It's like, what is the differences? All right, the meaning of how much is talking about the differences. So check this out, check this out. Can you see that this portion here? All right, 64 pieces of what? 20 cent coin, 64 pieces of 20 cent coin. They are the same. So there's nothing to compare here. Down here, there's endless of 50 cent coin. And down here, there's endless of 50 cent coin. So are they the same? Yes. So there's nothing to consider here again. All right, so your focus, your focus will be on what? Your focus will be on the center portion here. All right, your focus will be on the center portion here. Check this out, okay? So how many coins are there in the center? We know that there are 40 pieces of coin. And guess what? Look at the color, all right? We know that Alan has what? We know that Alan has, from the drawing, we know that Alan has 40 pieces of what? Green is what? Green is what? 50 cent coins. All right, not $50. <laughs> uh, Alan have 40 pieces of 50 cent coins. Okay, and, and, and who got the 20 cent coin? Ivy, right? Ivy got how many? Ivy got 40 pieces of 20 cent coins. Oh, so the 40 and the 40, they are the same, right? Yes, because one for you and one for me. <laughs> okay, so... Looking at this center portion, you ask yourself, who has more money? Imagine you got 40 pieces of 50 cent coin. I got 40 pieces of 20 cent coin. Obviously, you got more money, right? Yes. How much more? That's the question. Correct? All right. So down here, your answer will be who has more money? The first part. All right. You say that Alan has more money. All right. Alan has more money. Okay. How much more? 
So now you compare the differences. Oh, I always teach this in 88 division. I teach this called what? Comparing differences. All right, as you can see, right, many of the questions, right, they are moving in this direction, especially in the PSLE, things like what? Comparing difference, talk about what? Overlapping figures. Yes, yes, all this we covered before. All right, so comparing difference, you compare what? 150 cent and 120 cent. What's the difference? Can you see? So if you compare this and this, all right, if you compare this, which is a 50 cent, and this yellow, which is a 20 cent, what's the difference? Ah, so you can actually show the working. All right, 50 cent minus 20 cent will give you a 30 cent. All right. One of these, uh, one set of these, uh, one set of this, the difference is a 30 cent. All right. One set of these, uh, the difference is a 30 cent. One set of these, uh, the difference is a 30 cent. I got 40 sets of it. So it's 40 times 30 cent. And if you can press your calculator, the ching, ching, ching. Answer is a $12. So Alan has more money. How much more? $12 more. Is that okay? Ah, that's how you do this. All right. And it's a two marks question. Who? Yes. Question 15, right? <laughs> Bring it back memories for some of you. All right. So set up two marks. Got it. Move on to the next portion. What's the next portion talking about? Eh? Wow. Everything all done nicely for me. Thank you myself. <laughs> I did it. So as you can see, right, the diagram is a little bit neater. What's the question here? The question is talking about the what? The weight, right? So there's an additional clue. What's the additional clue? The 1.134 kg? It is for who? It is for Alan's coin. It is for Alan's coin. All right. And the question is asking, given that each 50 cent coin is 2.7 grams heavier than 20 cent coin, just visualize your 50 cent and your 20 cent coin. All right. In Singapore uh, coins, right? The 50 cent is a little bit bigger. Yeah. So it's a little bit heavier. Okay? So you just visualize visualized in that way. So this particular coin, right, this particular coin is actually 2.7 uh, grams heavier. Heavier than who? Heavier than this coin down here. Is that okay? Hey, this particular coin is also 2.7 grams heavier. Heavier than who? Heavier than this coin down here. Is that okay? So here comes the question. What is the mass of Ivy's coin in kg? So you want to find everything down here. Is that okay? So again, the same thing. Can you see that this portion here and this portion here, they are the same, right? So they are the same. You can actually do not compare it, all right? They are the same thing. Let's don't compare that, all right? How about here? How about here? They are the same. So do we want to look into that? No, no, no. Let's focus on something that is different so that we can have a basic idea what's happening, okay? So down here, we see that one of these 50 cent coin is 2.7 grams heavier than one of these. 20 cent coin. Hey, how many 2.7 grams are there? Ah, there's 40 pieces, right? So there are 40 2.7 grams inside the center portion, right? Can you see that now? There are 40 pieces of 2.7 grams. If you press your calculator, 40 times 2.7 grams is a 108 gram. Can you see now? So what do we know? We know that this number here, right, is what? It's heavier also. Why? Why? Because of the 50 cent coin down here. Is that true? All right. This number, 1.134 kg is heavier. That means our dear IV must be what? Must be lighter. La. How come? 20 cent coin is lighter than 50 cent coin. Correct or not? Yeah? All right. How much lighter? Lighter by 108 grams. Yes! All right, so 108 grams, right? Because the question was in kilogram, let me just divide by 1,000, move the decimal three spaces to the left, it's 0 0.108 kg. All right, so Ivy's coin is lighter than Alan's coin by what? 0 0.108 kg. Lighter means what? Lighter means minus, right? Yes. So your final answer will be what? You simply got to take 1.134 kg to less out the what? To less out the 0 0.108 kg. All right, the lighter part. And guess what? Your answer will be equal to drum roll. 1.026 kg. And that will be your answer for part B. And that is how you secure your two more marks. Is that clear? All right. So this our question is what I call comparing differences. It's getting very, very common. 
All right, you will see something like that in the next few years of PSLE. I promise you that. <laughs> it's going to be very exciting. Don't you feel that? So when you do math, do with a bit of joy. Look forward to the question. Yes, the examiner are asking in so many different creative ways. All right, we must be able to answer them also. All right, we must train ourselves to be able to answer them in whatever ways that they are asking. That is the interesting part of doing math. All right. All right. And that's it from um, myself. All right. This is Ben Ong from 88 Tuition signing off. All right. We will catch up with a few more questions later on. Okay. So for those who need to have, uh, for those of you who uh, found some interesting questions, all right, uh, you can actually email me at this uh, email. All right. So that if there's an opportunity, I can show it on YouTube too. All right. So I will see you then. Do take care. Be good. Don't be. Not the...